hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope everybody's having a great day today i'm currently in my office i've just been doing a ton of work in here today I'm trying to keep an eye on the weather so that's what i'm looking at um the wind is kind of picking up so um yeah this is just a dresser i keep all kinds of doodads and bits and bobs and cookbooks and recipe books in here that's what this is for um, I have one. I think that's my dessert book. My dessert cookbook right there. Um, but today we are going to be making some baked vanilla donuts. They're going to be so good. I cannot wait. I'm also going to be filming a, another portion of the video for either the next video or before this video. You'll know when it comes out. Um, it is from Manage in the Maze. And I think it's so cilantro lime chicken i think that's what it's called but yeah i'll leave all the information for that in the next video so let me go get all of the ingredients ready for you guys and i'll meet you right back here and we'll get these donuts going okay guys for the ingredients this is everything you're going to need some flour some sugar you can use whatever kind of sugar that you have on hand some salt baking powder, an egg at room temperature, some melted butter. I don't use vegetable oil that often, so I often go for avocado oil. It's just a neutral flavor oil. You pretty much use it in any kind of desserts. I've got some nutmeg, some cinnamon, some vanilla, and some buttermilk. So I'm going to get you guys set up so we can get these going okay guys so I've got everything set out ready to go we're just going to start off with the dry ingredients with the exception of the sugar I know it's a wet ingredient but we're going to add it into the dry it'll be okay so I've got my flour in my bowl here and we're just going to add some sugar you can sweeten this up to your taste really um, and then we will add a little bit of some salt just to bring out the sweetness and some baking powder add that right in there so half and some nutmeg and this is going to add a ton of flavor to these donuts they're going to be really really good some cinnamon okay and now we're just going to give this a mix and make sure it's very well combined Okay, now we're going to move on to the wet ingredients. And I'm going to go ahead and add in my buttermilk right into my bowl here. My butter. Egg. two tablespoons of oil my oven is ready I've got it preheated to 400 degrees I've also got my donut pans greased and ready to go and we're just going to add in a little bit of vanilla and whisk this up okay now we're just going to add the wet to the dry. And mix it up. Okay guys, so I've got my batter all mixed up. And I put some in a little piping bag and um, just cut the tip of it off. 
And now all we're going to do is fill up our donut pan. This makes about 12 to 24 depending on the size of your pan. So all you're going to do is just fill it up. Okay, so I've got my donut pan all filled up. I've got some batter left over, so these are going to make a second pass through the donut pan. Um, we're just going to put these in the oven for about 10 minutes or so, just until they are cooked through and they're nice and golden brown. Okay, so the donuts are completely cooled. That's what they look like. Now we're just going to make the... Um, glaze for the top so I've got some powdered sugar here you can do whatever kind of milk you you like I've just got almond milk so I'm gonna add a little bit of that and a little bit of this vanilla bean paste mix that together until it's smooth and we'll dip the donuts into the glaze Okay, so I've got a little bit of the sanding sugar. I'm just going to sprinkle some of this over the top of some of these. I'm going to leave some of them plain. some plain and that looks good so I'm gonna let these sit here and just hang out and set okay guys here are the donuts they are done and mostly set I'll show you what they look like on the inside nice and soft and so good all right, guys, that is going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.